I hustle trap, I hustle trap, I hustle trap, I hustle trap. Bust the record, get two back, and this hub will go, call me two pack. I'm a nut, use a blue sack. You had your chance, but you blew that. H22C, two, two H880 HD. Uh-huh. Somewhere along the road came asthma. B2 out of three, it ain't phased me. For those who think I had it safely, huh? you hella mistake. <laughs> All right, you guys, brothers, brothers. All right, so my voice a little pitchy right now, I ain't gonna lie. I just came back from the doctor earlier, prompt care, and I found out that I pretty much, as I suspected, have been dealing with a trifection, maybe even a quadfection for a different, you know what I'm saying? Um, up over, it was, what is the upper, um, oh, shit, they right here. All right, a viral upper respiratory infection, which is another term for a common cold. Now, I understand that that is a term for a common cold. It is contagious for the first few days. It's spread through the air by coughing and sneezing. It may also be spread by direct contact, touching a sick person, and then touching your eyes, nose, or mouth. Frequent hand washing will decrease the risk of spread. Most viral illnesses go away, away within 7 to 10 days with rest and simple home remedies. Sometimes the illness may last for seven weeks. Antibiotics will not kill a virus, and they are generally not prescribed for this situation. We give you fun. <clears throat> In case you get this, since I am telling y'all this, because I want y'all to be safe. Um, home care. If symptoms are severe, rest at home for the first two to three days. When you resume activity, don't let yourself get too tired. I have been working out. Y'all, I told y'all I've been looking for work. So, I mean, at least I haven't been working, clocking in at a place. Sorry, y'all, that's my dog in the background coughing. But nonetheless, um... I have been working out, though, so that probably doesn't help. Um, don't smoke. If you need help stopping, talk with your health care physician or provider. Um, avoid being exposed to cigarette smoke, yours or others. I think we're good there. We're good there. Um, you may use a so You know what? I'm going to come back and get him calmed, and then I'll get back on video. All right, I'm back. I got him to calm down a little bit, but you know, as they say, the show must go on. All right, so going back, um, let's see. Da, da, da. Your appetite may be poor, so a light diet is fine. Stay well hydrated by drinking six to eight glasses of fluids. I've been drinking water, and it says water, soft drinks, tea, soup, or soup. This is full of water, and I have been actually trying to drink more tea. Shout out to Lovely Tea. I told you I drank her tea multiple times. Um, extra fluids will help loosen the secretions in the nose and lungs. So that has been helpful. But I just want to give you all that. So be careful out there. You know what I'm saying? Um, don't be eating just anybody's food. You know what I'm saying? Um, seasoning precautions aside because some people can't season that shit. But also, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to be sick either. <laughs> um, let's see. I'll give you all the symptoms too. Redness. You see how I give a fuck about my subscribers and stuff? If you're not a subscriber and you're watching this, like, you missing out. I'm giving y'all y'all help. <laughs> I give a fuck about y'all. Like, I'm just saying. Okay, let me relax. <clears throat> so, redness in and around your eye. Eyes that are puffy and sore. I did have redness. Um, I also had my contacts in, but she said that that probably didn't help. But that wasn't, um, it was drainage. So it was both the contact being in too long and drainage. Um, watery eyes, discharge from the eye, yes. Um, eyelids that are crusty and stuck together. Wink, wink. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. The last few days that's been happening. Pink color in the whites are one or both your eyes, yes. Um, sensitivity to bright light, hell yes. Oh, my God. So, y'all, I don't like, like... I don't necessarily like wearing my glasses. So I will wear my contacts... For months now I do have eye drops so I do have eye drops I do at least I take them out like every once in a while but usually if I'm so busy with you know music <clears throat> at the time I'm not working now but work or whatever the situation is if they don't irritate me I don't take them out so it'll happen you know on a day that's so fortunate like you know back in school when it was picture day you know it'll happen like then it'll just be red when I wake up be like bitch you know that I need so I got some shit to do today 
so nonetheless that's fine or if i'm about to go to work for the day you know what i'm saying it was fine when i was off the two days prior to but now that i'm about to go to work today i gotta go to work with this red eye so that's fun but nonetheless um and that's called conjunctivitis by the way all right so that's all the stuff she gave me so uh, <clears throat> let's see also <laughs> so that was for conjunctivitis so that was just my eye by the way the last page i read y'all with um the symptoms and all that stuff that's conjunctivitis the other thing that i read y'all was the common cold so um over the counter cold medicines this is for going back to the common cold um it will not shorten the length of time you're sick but they may be helpful for the following symptoms cough sore throat nasal and sinus congestion i had all four of those if you take prescription meds Ask your person what are safe to use, da 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 follow up as needed, and then, you know, you know the rest of the stuff, call 911 if you, you, you're dying, or, well, I mean, if somebody else dying on the flow, you know what I'm saying, help call them. So. Alright, so, um, nonetheless, there you go, look at me, I give a fuck about y'all, so that should earn me that subscription right there, you know what I'm saying, I'm just saying, <clears throat> but nonetheless, moving on, I told y'all, on the last few, <clears throat> sorry, and I'm still getting my voice back too, by the way. Um, I told y'all in the last, what was it? Uh, it's, hell, yeah, it's been a few damn videos. Let me try to go look. Let's see. YouTube. What's the YouTube? A real nigga. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. I feel like ass. Oh, yeah, it ain't been that damn long. I told y'all on the third to last video I posted, Toxic Masculinity Part 1, where I addressed the Gillette Be a Better Man video, and I told y'all I don't feel no type of way about it because I'm, I, I'm not a man that that video would apply to. You know what I'm saying? Um, but nonetheless, um, I told y'all, brothers, y'all know the um, comedian. Goddamn, my voice really is singing-wise. But nonetheless, we ain't gonna really gonna discuss that, okay? Because some of y'all sound like that, and y'all are perfectly healthy. <laughs> okay. At any rate. Um, so, as we was talking about, I told y'all when I say brothers, that means that we, I, I'm, I'm specifically talking to my men. It's probably black men in this situation I am. You know what I'm saying? But it's a manhood thing, or it's, a, you know, something around that situation. And I do need to put my brothers to the side. I know that y'all can see the title of the video, and I know that that's probably, um... Got y'all, you know, in your feelings. You know what I'm saying? You might be a little confused. You know what I'm saying? So, um, y'all know me. I'm an out-of-the-box person. So, whereas some people may see this point, I may see that point. And that was something that I seen in watching this video. So, with that being said, first, let's go ahead and talk about the racial part of it. Okay. So, a man arrested in a video after him, a show, uh, video shows him pulling a gun and yelling racial slurs at black, black teens. <clears throat> So, the man's name is Mark Bartlett, Mark Allen Bartlett, and, um, let's see, the woman in the video can be heard telling the teens, please move your bikes, I have kids I need to pick up, after she yelled about one of the teens, after she yelled at one of the teens, I guess, Oh, about one of the teens allegedly running over her foot. Bartlett rushed over holding a gun and calling the teens the N-word. With the hard R, need I say. Bartlett was arrested and charged on a concealed firearms charge and was held on $5,000 bonds. Mark Allen Bartlett was arrested at um, after yelling racial slurs and pointing a gun at a group of teenagers riding bicycles during the annual wheels up guns down protest <laughs> on monday january 21st of all places you know what i'm saying <clears throat> a member of the dream defenders activist group in miami brickle district took a video of bartlett's outlet first and warned him that he was gonna be on the news and i okay so I watched the video myself. I seen all that. I didn't see nobody run over her foot. I seen her push two children. And I'm not going to lie. <clears throat> this is one of the things that when I see this, I, I, it makes me question if I want to have children. Because what's going to happen if you touch my motherfucking child <laughs> is you're going to get fucked up. I'm not waiting 
for policemen or the judicial system to do what they're supposed to do. I'm going to do what I need to do for mine and protect mine. And anybody can say that, how they want to take it, how they want to take it. I don't give a shit. So, with that being said, <clears throat> um, and this story just kind of, it's pretty recent. I haven't seen nobody really, you know what I'm saying, big talking about it on YouTube. So, I'm probably one of the first, you know what I'm saying. Well, not the first, but you get what I'm saying. <clears throat> Sorry. It's just something that spoke to me and I looked at it from a different perspective. So, with that being said, you know, and this that's, this is another thing, you know, I find it that the most fuckery occurs in February. It's so annoying. You know what I'm saying? The way they, they be doing us, you know what I'm saying? And this country, especially on February of all fucking months, it's so annoying. So much shit popped up. I know some people were t um, telling me about the Tommy Loren situation. I ain't even gonna talk about that bitch, because y'all know how I feel when it comes to Tommy Loren. Um, and if you don't, let me tell you. When I look at people like Tommy Loren and black people, because there are black people that's like her, let's keep it fucking real. Hell, y'all black men was defending her just because her ass was listening to Savage 21 Savage. So, with that being said, instead, you would still fuck her. Um, that's good, because after you get done fucking her, if she even lets you hit, she's going to call the police on your ass and have you killed. But nonetheless, we'll, we'll ignore that. But, um... There are black people out there that are like her, men and women, you know what I'm saying, not just the men, but men, women too, who will repeat the same nasty rhetoric she has. Y'all know the saying, not all skin folk is kin folk. So with that being said, the issue that I see with people like her, black, white, and indifferent, is you could just tell when somebody has not ever been punched in their fucking face. And I feel like some people is born into, born, need to be born into that. I feel like some people, there, there are certain people that's born that way. I told y'all before, I talked about it in my music. I feel like some people was born straight out of Hell's Gates. I have a song that's coming out pretty soon. It's called You Was Never There. And I said, um, um, I think some people enjoy cause of heartbreak. I think some people relish when I'm in a hard state, copy, uh, hard space, caught between a rock and I can't keep my head straight. I think some people born straight out of Hell's Gates. I'm looking at some of y'all like, God didn't create that. Ain't no way in heaven he would display trash. Look me in my face. And look, <clears throat> look me in my face. Like, I, uh, they said I was lying. People, oh. Oh, look me in my face like they wasn't buying. People, Dr. Yanami said I was lying. And I, in that song, I was referencing people saying that I was lying about my sexual abuse. You know what I'm saying? So, a lot of this Me Too shit, it hits me, you know what I'm saying, pretty heavy, too. But with that being said, um, nonetheless, nonetheless, we didn't got off topic. But um, going back to what I said. So, I just, I don't, I'm not going to do no Tommy Loren video. I don't got time for that. But, um, I probably will address the other lady. The other lady, I, I might do a video on her after this. We'll see how this one goes. But, right now, let me give y'all the video real quick. Let y'all see it. And y'all formulate y'all own shit. And then we'll come back and discuss. straw bottles and shit but <laughs> i'm sorry so now y'all have seen the video y'all have seen what did happen now as far as i'm concerned i have to go off what i see i didn't see nobody run over this lady's damn foot and if they did fuck her foot um when you <clears throat> there's this thing that i'm going to do in this video that i know a lot of people is not gonna like but um you know i've been talking about accountability on the last few videos in fact, I'm going to hashtag it in the title. There is accountability that needs to be doled out to this whole, in this whole situation. 
<clears throat> and I'm gonna discuss it from multiple side points. Now, first of all, I'm gonna put accountability on this white lady because whether or not they did drive over your foot, if your foot was driven over by somebody's bike, you took it upon yourself because I'm assuming she's in a car. She says she has to go pick up her kids. So I'm assuming you're in a car. You got out of your vehicle. I don't care how slow traffic was. That's crazy as hell. I'm not doing that shit. Long as them kids ain't riding their bikes through and, and through, if they not riding their bikes through traffic, I'm not getting out. And even then, I might not get out. I'm probably going to roll the window down if it's, you know, because I value my vehicle. I bought it myself. And I will hit your kid to get, get them out of my way. I will hit your kid. <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, your kid shouldn't be biking through traffic. That's common sense. I understand kids will be kids. But after 13, 14, we, 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 you, you have somewhat of a moral compass to tell you. It is smart to do this and it is smart to do that. So with that being said, you got out of your car and it wasn't like they was biking through traffic or none of that. They was biking on the side from what it looked like. You got out of your car because you need to go pick your kids up. They don't know They don't know your kids. Don't nobody, they don't give a fuck about your kids, lady. But nonetheless, <laughs> you got your ass up and confronted them about biking, whatever the situation was. That, whatever happens, after that, you put yourself in that situation. I don't give a fuck if she was black, white, Indian, Chinese, Puerto Rican. It don't matter. It don't matter. You took yourself out of your safe space, which was your vehicle. Nobody was messing with you. They didn't come over. Like I said, if they was biking through traffic, I might have given her some. But you got out of your car. You put yourself in that situation. So with that being said, these are a whole bunch of kids. And they kids will be kids, black, white, and different. They ain't better listen to your ass. They don't give a fuck about your kid. They don't know your kid. You know what I'm saying? Maybe if you tried a group of white kids because, you know what I'm saying, we, we culturally... Naturally, as humans, um, yeah, we're all humans in this and any other, but we feel more comfortable around our own. So maybe if you said this to a bunch of white kids, you might have got a different response. But I ain't going to lie. Some white lady, if I'm riding my bike, you know what I'm saying, following the rules, I'm not riding my bike on the road, and some white lady comes up to me talk about her kid. Fuck your kid. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, what the fuck is you doing here? <clears throat> so nonetheless, that's accountability being number one. <clears throat> Now, I have to put accountability on the kids, and this is why. I know it's hard, you know, especially in this hard racial climate that we're in, but literally and truly, y'all were on bikes. You could have just outdrove her. This bitch is not going to run, but so far away from her car that, you know what I'm saying, unless she got, you know, she might got my finesse, I ain't going to lie, because I can lock my car while it's running. So I can get out real quick, do what I need to do, and then come back and it can still be locked and all my valuables are good. You know what I'm saying? So unless she got that finesse, and even then, she's in moving traffic. I do that when I'm out somebody's house if I'm coming to pick something up. That's two different things. So she's not going to walk but so far away from her car. Y'all could have just drove away. Y'all could have been like, okay, yep, yes, ma'am, and moved. You know what I'm saying? So um, she would, because, I mean, she... And I understand, you know what I'm saying, in, in a way, you know what I'm saying, it may feel like that's the passive thing to do, but if that had, had been done, this this whole situation with this gun, all this, wouldn't have even been a thing, you know what I'm saying, just drive away, drive away, I just fuck that bitch, like, okay, goodbye, have a great day, ma'am, you know, what can she say, what can she say, you know what I'm saying, but nonetheless, they're kids. They're naturally rebellious. So they, they you know, went, went at it. You know what I'm saying? With her. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so I've given out accountability on both sides. You know what I'm saying? And then as far as that man goes, it just, that was disgusting. Uh, morally wrong. You No, you don't run up on nobody's kids like that. These are children. These are not grown people. And regardless, all that foul language, y'all already know how I feel about that. Um... But um, with that being said, so I've given the responsibility to all three parties. However, one thing that I did take away from this video is I want black men to see how. Oh, okay. I want black men to look and notice. I got a notification, but nonetheless, how that white man rushed to the defense of that white woman. He didn't even know what the he didn't know what the fuck was going on. He's seen a group of black kids, and while his motives were racially motivated. While his, how, while his actions were racially motivated, at the end of the day, he went to go protect his. 
that is something that I want black men to take away from that situation. You know what I'm saying? I can value at least that. The rest of this man's actions are disgusting. You know, the rest of the situation is disgusting. It's nasty as hell. And then the fact that he is on or he getting off on a $5,000 bond, you know what I'm saying, for pointing a weapon at children, that's wrong. I don't fuck with that. However, he's seen his own in distress, you know, what his own, you know, some damsel distress shit, whatever the fuck. And he rushed to her side. You know what I'm saying? That is something that should have been, that's what should have happened when, um, old man knocked out the black girl. You know what I'm saying? Uh, David Bell, um, whatever the fuck his, David Stephen Bell, whatever the fuck his name is, when he knocked out that little 11 year old black girl, some black man should have came by and knocked his fucking teeth out of his mouth. That's what should have happened. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, the, the, um, at the end of the day, we need to be, you know what I'm saying? There's accountability to be held on all parties, including us black men, because to be honest, you know what I'm saying? And included us, you know, really our whole community, because like no black man, I don't think any black man, I'm just going off of what I'm saying. I don't think any black man or black woman would feel comfortable doing what this white woman or even this black man did. You know what I'm saying? And granted, there are many factors oh, shit. that factor in with that. You know what I'm saying? The fact that, you know, Tyrone pulling a gun out on the white kids who are harassing this black woman, it's not going to end up the same. But there's no change without sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? And that's where we need to get to. Because, keep it real, she felt safe to do this because she knows where we're at in the racial climate. She knows she could have probably predicted that somebody was going to come to her rescue. You know what I'm saying? He felt safe to pull that gun out in broad daylight in public because they know they have a system in place that protects them. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, and I'm not advising black men to just pull guns out. You know what I'm saying? Now I have seen, seen a situation like that before where this black lady, she was pregnant and this white man was arguing with her. And he hauled off and hit this black man that came to her defense. And the black man uh, hit him back and then revealed that he had a gun. You know what I'm saying? And that's another thing. There's also ways that you do things. You know, just pulling out guns all willy-nilly. I don't... That's some superiority shit. Or that's some privilege shit. I, I can't... You know what I'm saying? I ain't telling black people to do that. But you know what I'm saying? I do think that we need to do better. And also, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> coach our kids that you know what i'm saying i don't think you need to coach them that all adults are right you know what i'm saying but we do need to tell them there's a time and place you know what i'm saying because i also noticed in the video where you know the man comes up with a gun and some of the kids back up but one of the kids gets bold in the end talking about um shoot me in the face i don't give a fuck da, da, da. and it's like first of all you know what i'm saying all this street shit that rah rah shit that's not, you. It's, just cute. it's not cute after a certain age, you know what I'm saying? You're thinking you look cute, but you look in a hot mess. Because what happens when he turns around and actually shoots you? And then not to mention, you're putting your own friends at risk too. So we do need to tell our kids there are other ways to react to situations. You know what I'm saying? Granted, I don't imagine as a parent, even being a black parent, I don't think you would, you know, think to tell your kid, this is what happens if you and your friends are approached by a white man with a gun. I ain't saying there's a direct, you know what I'm saying, way to explain this shit to them because it, it, it's hard it is hard but you know what i'm saying i also want to put like, accountability on that particular kid who said that because you're endangering not only yourself but all of your friends but my biggest takeaway like i said from this was black man i want you to notice how that white man rushed to her her distress because she was quote unquote her foot was ran over with a bike you know what I'm saying? As if he even know what the situation was. You know what I'm saying? And he wasn't her husband. He wasn't her brother. Because I seen a lot of you niggas say that shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'll defend my family. But I ain't just going to put my life on the line for no random black woman. That's the problem right there. Other races do that. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Other races are doing what we're not doing as a race. And that's why that's part of a big part of the reason why we're stuck where we are. Why black women do get mistreated. You know what I'm saying? Why they get mis or they get underrepresented. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, we need to do better. We need to do better at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Video's fucked up. Don't get me wrong. But I just wanted to present a different, you know what I'm saying, uh, perspective from this. And y'all let me know what y'all think. You know what I'm saying? Because I thought that was pretty, you know what I'm saying? That was a interesting situation you know what i'm saying i know white people do some crazy shit but to just see him take that gun out i don't know where i'm like what the fuck bro so nonetheless they never cease to amaze me they don't um 
unseasoned chicken. They can't dance. They love pulling out guns. They got a lot of issues. But nonetheless, y'all let me know what y'all think down below. Um, I This video wasn't too long, so I think I'll go ahead and go into the next video about the, um, what his bitch name is? Stephanie Hamill. Oof. Hamil, whatever the fuck. At any rate, y'all let me know what y'all thought down below. Let me know what y'all thought of the video. What did y'all think about my perspective on it? Do y'all think that we need to do a better job? You know what I'm saying? I want to hear from black women and black men. Do we? Do y'all think that we need to hear, do a better job of protecting our own? You know what I'm saying? Do y'all think that, you know, there are talks, talks that do need to be had with our kids. And at the end of the day, while stuff is not right. When somebody has a gun, that should change situations. Like, there should be, like, you if you wasn't going to run off and drive away, like I said in the beginning, from the white lady and just ignore her, please ignore the white man with a gun. You know what I'm saying? Don't nobody kids need to be dying over that shit. And also, do y'all think it's bullshit that he got $5,000 bond? You know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know what y'all think down below in the video, and I'll get back with y'all on the next video. Peace.